Oh, my pigs. I'm so nervous. I have to perform upstage in front of all those people. <sighs> oh, and that kissing scene at the end. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about kissing a guy, especially since... <sighs> it's gonna be fine. I'm okay. If I just do my role, everything's gonna be okay. Till the play starts. Two minutes till the play starts. <sighs> okay, let's do this. On the magical land of Christmas, where the land was white as snow, lived the royal family of a queen and a king and a princess, destined to be saved by her beloved Prince Charming. The princess's name was Plumpe Lashira, and this is her story. Destined to rise upon her kingdom, the rising sun of dawn, to set below the horizon, and step up above the crowd, and be married to Prince Charming, and love him, and care for him, and do his dirty work to help the royal family of a shiro. And I'm just a person with a stupid name. They name me Plump Hair to show my uselessness. And they expect me to love them. Prince Charming, you are so horrible, disgusting, so ugly. I hate you. Prince Charming's so stupid. I hate him with all my heart. Now oh, I'm trapped in this dangerous prison trap with an ugly beast who's desperate to kiss me on the lips. <sighs> I could just get some poison on a knife and stab it through my heart. But I can't. I hate this life. I can't take it anymore, and now I have to sit here in the dust. Robert Lashiro! Robert Lashiro! Honey! Yes, Lyra? The, the peasants are ready to hear the grand news. Perfect. Now, Robert, if you do remember, you promised to tell me what this news was before you told everyone else. Oh, yes, I do remember. Now, the grand news. Tomorrow night, the princess is going to be married to Prince Charming. Oh, that's great news. She will have no choice but to marry him. But, sire, remember what the law says. If she finds someone else to she likes before tomorrow night, she can also marry them as well. No, I want her to marry Prince Charming, not one of those filthy peasants. Of course, sire, I'm just mentioning the law. I don't want to hear another word out of my, your mouth, Lyra. Now, you may go. Heh. <laughs> I'm going to make Prince Charming be the princess's new husband, and I don't care what the law says. Heh, <laughs> Lyra, I should probably break up with her. But only when the time is right. Lahara, my most trusted assistant. Yes, sire. Make sure that Prince Charming and the princess get married tomorrow night. Yes, sire. Good. It was time for the grand news about the news about Prince Charming and the Princess Plumpear getting married. Attention, Kingdom! I have an announcement to make. Princess Plumpear Lashira is getting married to Prince Charming tomorrow night. Thank you for listening to this very important announcement. Now off to work, filthy peasants! <sighs> <sighs> wow, I can't believe that princess is getting married tomorrow night. 
<sighs> I bet she's so happy right now. Princess Plum Pear, it is me, your father. Open the door to your tower. Leave me alone. You are here to come down here this instant to plan your wedding plans with the prince tomorrow night. You are getting ma being married. No, I'm not getting married to that stupid piece of plum hair. No, for the last time, no. Let me in, princess. No, I'm breaking down the door. Not like you can anyways. You're too weak. How dare you say that about your father, the king. How is it bad? It's the truth. You always said not to lie to people. And that's what I'm doing, telling the truth. Now get out and leave. Fine. <sighs> so after that incident, the princess was reluctant. The king was mad, but at the same time with joy. For who would replace Prince Charming's kiss? It's time I leave this dusty place. Why should I just wait here, waiting for nothing? Maybe I could escape from this tower and be a peasant. Then I wouldn't have to be married. Yes, I like that idea. It's time to escape in the skies, of course. I have escaped into freedom. I see this town for the very first time. And now I'm free from the horror, from the dread, from the death of me. And now the death of the prince, because I don't exist anymore. I'm free, it's a dream to be free in the open wild. And now I just have to survive. To be free from the horror, from the dread, from the death of me, because I don't exist anymore. Help me please, I'm a lost, I'm a loner, lost and found. No one is here to help, because they're just a bunch of losers. Now I'm here in the cup instead of a prison, but this is much better. Heh. <sighs> It's almost Christmas. Huh? Who was that? I have a stick and I'm not afraid to use it! Ah! Ah! Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing with an axe? What are you doing with a stick? <sighs> I'm just dropping down some trees for the some firewood, it's getting kind of cold, don't you think? Oh. What are you doing in the cold with a lonely stick, by the way? I, uh, I have memory loss. Wait, what? I can't remember why I'm here. Oh, um, come. I'll take you to my place where you can get warm. Okay, wait. How do I know I can trust you? You can. Now, come. Sir Plum Pear went off with the mysterious guy that she knew nothing about, hoping he would have answers. Plus, who didn't mind a bit of a company once in a while? <sighs> the fire is very nice. It's warmer than out there. Yep. So, do you mind to tell me what your name is? Um, or have you forgot? Um, give me a, a moment. I do remember. Um, got it. So, what's your name? Um, my name's Mistletoe. What's yours? 
Mistletoe? Um, yeah, um, my name's Richard. Richard Watson. <sighs> it's nice to meet you, Richard. Well, I should get some sleep. Good night, Richard. Good night to you too, Mistletoe. Hey, Richard. You're already awake? Of course. I made some breakfast. Oh, that's so nice. You shouldn't have. It's the best I could do. Thank you. You're welcome. Mmm, this is good food, you know that? Heh. <laughs> hey, I wanted to show you something. Um, okay, what did you want to show me? It's a surprise. Follow me. So, off the two of them went along the... There was something that both of them didn't know. There was someone watching them. Wow, it's amazing. Heh, <laughs> I thought you might like it. What are you doing? Come. No, that seems dangerous. Do you trust me? What? Do you trust me? Yes. I do. <gasps> wow. Oh. This is incredible. Do you like it? Yes. This was the place I went one time got up for me. I hid here during the war when the royals wanted to eliminate the peasants from this world. I tried to look for my family after the war, but when I opened my eyes, they were gone. I walked around for a bit and my family uh, had already died. Oh, I'm so sorry. You don't have to be. <laughs> You're the first person I've trusted in a long time, and I feel like you're easy to talk to, and I feel like you're easy to talk to as well. What is the meaning of this? <gasps> what do you have to say, Princess Plumpair? Lahara, how did you know who I was? Oh, I know my ways. <laughs> You are meant to be with Prince Charming, and you. What do you think you're doing? Wait, what are you doing to him? I'm going to take him to the dungeons where he will die. No, please don't. No! <laughs> My princess, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve you. Go, be with your prince. No! <laughs> no! So Richard got taken to the dungeon and was locked up tight while Pr Princess Plumpair got locked up in her room with all the exits locked and everyone in there getting ready for the wedding. Please stop! No! I'm hideous and ugly! No! Not the makeup! Don't touch my hair! Please stop! No! You're ready. No! I hate you! No! My princess, in one hour we will be together, a married couple, and I will make sure our lips are locked tightly together for at least ten minutes, like tradition states, to show our true love. No! I hate you! I don't love you! No! So for the next hour, my king, what? do you suggest she deserves happiness and punishment everyone please leave the room with the exception of prince charming and my daughter you two will kiss for all hour and i will bound your lips and you prince will keep her here yes sire no no and no no meanwhile in the common room Robert, where is Plump Hair? Locked in her room. Why? 
None of your concern, Lahara. Keep Lyra company, would you? Yes, sire. What do you want, Lahara? What have you done? Lyra, keep quiet, would you? Your daughter is going to be married to Prince Charming in one hour. Tell me, right? Silence! Your king trusts me. Before your daughter gets married to Prince Charming, I'm going to kill her. No! I'm telling Robert. Well, you won't be able to. You won't live to tell the tale. And I will be queen! No! In the dungeons. There must be some way to get out of these chains. <sighs> darn, I can't believe she was the princess the whole time. It was so darn obvious. And now I'm stuck here, about to die, while she gets married to her prince. Come on, Richard, focus. Urgh, urgh, urgh. Darn it. Can't get out of these stupid chains. Huh? Who is that? It is me. The ghost. The dead soul of Lyra the Shiro. What? I was killed. Murdered by Lahara. I only want my daughter to be safe. What do you mean? I know you love her. I know she loves you. What? I'm okay with you two being together. I thought Lahara was the king's most trusted assistant. She is, but Richard, Plum Pear's in danger. What? We need to save her. Lahara is planning on killing her. No. We need to help. Um, I'm kind of trapped in these really strong chains and can't get out. Ah, yeah, silly me. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, we need to hurry. Meanwhile, upstairs in the Grand Hall, five minutes away from midnight, Plumpe was about to be married to Prince Charming, but first Lahara asked the king if she could give a gift for us, and let the king report the tragic news of his wife, Lyra, being murdered and Lahara being queen. Attention, kingdom! On this expected day of happiness, something tragic has happened. Lyra has been murdered! <gasps> and that would ha leave me no choice but Lahara to be appointed as queen. Until, however, the prince has and prince are married, which would mean Plum Pear would be the new queen. If these two fail to marry, which they shouldn't, Lahara stays as queen. All hail Queen Lahara! Now, the wedding! Lahara has a special gift to offer the princess before her marriage. Thank you, sire. I have some food for you, Plum Pear. A very nice, tasty apple found from the rare trees of Gold City, harvested by the hands of the gods. I present to you this apple will give you the power of a god and make you immortal, meaning you will never die. This you must eat, or you dishonor the gods and must die, and must not go to hev the heavens like you were destined to. If you eat this, you will forever be able to travel to heaven and back, becoming the great god. <sighs> I must honor the gods. What did you do? No, we're too late. No, plum pear. It's two minutes when the clock strikes midnight. 
Plumper, your beloved princess, will die, and I will be queen for all of eternity. No, you can't. Actually, I can, because you've just officially announced me to be queen. I will forever have power. <gasps> I just realized, you need to kiss her. I must kiss her. Nothing is happening. Wait, you aren't her true love. Richard is. What? You must kiss her, please. <sighs> I love you, Mistletoe. <gasps> Mistletoe, I'm, um, sorry, um, Plum Pear, Richard, you're okay. Yeah, Lyra saved me. Thank you. Richard, I, I love you. I love you too, Plum Pear. Please, I prefer being called Mistletoe. Okay then, Mistletoe, will you marry me? Yes, I will! No, you cannot do this! Are you forgetting I am still queen? You are no longer queen today, Mary, which is now. No! Take her to the dungeons. No! Will you, Mistletoe, take Richard's hand in marriage and love him forever? I do. Richard, will you love Mistletoe forever and serve as king in this kingdom? I do. You are now queen and king, husband and wife. You may kiss. Merry Christmas, Richard. Merry Christmas, Mistletoe. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Wow, that was crazy. Huh? Oh, hey, John. That play was intense, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Huh? Piglet, I, I know we may not know each other that well, but I was wondering, did you want to go out for coffee? Um, I don't drink coffee. Oh, uh, um, what about a hot chocolate instead? Oh, that sounds great, I guess. Great. I know a good place that does hot chocolate. Great. Hello, sir. Can we get two hot chocolates, please? Oh, uh, hey, John. And person who seems to be with John. Oh, uh, yeah, this is... My name's Piglet. Ah, uh, yes. This is Piglet. Oh, 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 get you guys that drink sir then. Why don't you guys take a seat then? Great. Yeah, great. So, what do you like to do for fun? Well, I like to go on my laptop and cuddle my pig plushies. How about you? Um, I personally like... <sighs> what is it? It's nothing, really. Um, well, can I trust you? I feel like I can talk to you. Oh, well, yes, you can trust me. You see, my girlfriend broke up with me last Christmas. Oh! Well, my best friend, who was male, who was really close to me, died <sighs> two years ago. I've never been able to get my mind off it since. He was always there for me when times were tough. He was always there to help me. If I was ever upset or feeling down, he felt like almost like an older brother to me when I was growing up and I just wanted him to come back somehow over these past two years
I'm so sorry. <sighs> it's fine. You're easy to talk to, you know that? Heh. <laughs> Well, it seems we've both lo lost something, and if we have problems, we can always, we can get through it together. <sighs> Do you want to go outside? Wait, um, uh, but the drinks? That's fine, plus, usually takes forever for the people to cook this food. Um, okay then. So... What made you want to come outside? I, um, just needed to get some fresh air. Oh, okay. <gasps> huh? Piglet, I... Hey, I just wanted to get you a heads eye up that the drinks are ready. Great! We should go inside. I'm thirsty. Um, right. Well, it was nice knowing you, John. It's getting late. I'd better get going. Wait, um, I was wondering if we could have each other's phone numbers. That way we can contact each other. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, I'll see you later then. Bye. Soon, Piglet, very soon, you will be ready. Ho, ho, ho!